Springer and our panel. Sarah Isker Flores, Deputy Communications Director for the RNC, and Ellis Hennigan, TV and radio commentator. Ellis, much ado about nothing, or do you think it's going to help the Republicans in their efforts to try to reveal Obamacare? Oh, well, I mean, Gruber needs to learn to keep his mouth shut. I mean, that was kind of impolitic, some of the things he said. But uh, listen, again, we're back to the same thing with immigration. If Republicans want to be in the position of taking away from Americans important benefits that they've come to rely on, the people who previously couldn't afford health insurance and now can, families that uh, have uh, previous conditions covered, have kids on their insurance uh, later than they were able to before, if Republicans want to stake out the battle over the next two years of taking those important things away from Americans, I, the politics of that are very much on the Democrat side. So I guess smart Dems will just sit back and kind of suck a Republicans in. Let them try and take rights away from, uh, from immigrants from other countries. Let them try and take health insurance away from American families. Maybe you could cancel some early childhood education while you're at it. Believe me, that's the fight the Democrats want. Sarah, is it political suicide to take away those benefits? I, I like how Ellis just kind of skipped over the whole Gruber video. It's a classic Washington gaffe. He said the truth. He said what Democrats thought all along, that if they just fooled the American people, if they just didn't tell them what was going on, that they could lie to them, pass this bill, and when their health care plans got canceled, when their costs went up, it would be too late. And that's exactly what they did. Unfortunately, now these videos are surfacing and they're having to explain themselves, which is why you see Leader Pelosi saying she's never heard of the guy. Nope clip of that too where she's actually telling voters to go read his analysis. He got paid $400,000 to help write Obamacare legislation. He's just telling you the facts. Wanted to get to the Keystone Pipeline. The breaking news this morning from Burma was that the president basically says he wants the review to continue. This in light of Mary Landry trying to bring a vote to the Senate right now it looks like they have 58 senators in favor of such a vote. Ellis, do you think that we're going to see a vote on the Keystone Pipeline? And is it basically kind of a moot subject anyway, because the president would veto any bill that crossed his desk? Oh, well, yeah, it, it probably won't have very much practical effect. But uh, listen, Rick, I'm from Louisiana, so, so I do have some kind of political sympathy for the position that Mary Landry's in. Uh, the state is hugely dependent on oil and gas revenue. Uh, Louisianians, many of them, believe that uh, that would produce some local economic benefits. So, you know, she's running for office in a, in a real uphill fight there. So I know she's pushing it. I, I don't think this is likely going to determine the issue in the long run. In, in the end, you got to judge these things uh, based on balancing the environmental and, and some of the economic issues. It's not an easy call. No one would say it's an easy call. Sarah, is the president missing out on the opportunity to gain more jobs and maybe more energy independence by not going forward with uh, Keystone? Oh, we know that's the case. He doesn't care. Uh, that's why he's making deals with the Chinese that, in fact, limit our job growth for the next 16 years while they do nothing. Um, I, this president has never seemed to care that much about growing jobs. It's why you've seen him, quote unquote, pivot to the economy I don't know how many times now. He's busy doing other things, going around the Constitution. Uh, the Keystone Pipeline bill will land on his desk. If he vetoes it, I think there's an interesting chance that that could get overridden. Yeah, once again, it looks like the Republicans have 45 members that are trying to advance the Keystone uh, on the agenda of the Senate and 13 Democrats. So the Democrats really could have a big say as far as whether uh, Mary Landrieu gets that vote that she wants and uh, if it will eventually cross the president's desk. I'm going to say goodbye to both you guys, Ellis Hennigan and Sarah Isker Flores. Thanks so much for participating in a wonderful discussion right here on Newsmax TV. You're watching America's Forum. We want to hear from you on issues like Keystone and immigration reform. Contact us and thanks so much for watching us right here on Newsmax TV.